So this question is a diagram question. It looks like we have some parallel lines here. I'll confirm that by actually reading the question. But whenever we have parallel lines and this other line that crosses it, which is called a transversal, not really important for you to know the name of that, but just in case you're looking up um, extra questions that are similar to this, um, parallel lines and transversals were some key words that you can use to search for some simple, some, uh, some similar questions. Whenever we have a situation where there's a transversal crossing parallel lines, we create all these different angle uh, measurements. Um, what we have here between our X and our 26 degrees is something that's called same side interior angles. It's named same side interior angles because they're both on the, both of these angles are on the same side of the transversal, right? It's like above the transversal. And both are interior to the parallel lines. They're both inside the parallel lines. So whenever you have same side interior angles, those angles are supplementary. So supplementary simply means they add up to 180 degrees, which means I already know the answer to what X is, if that, I still haven't actually read the question. But this is how I always deal with diagram questions. I always focus most of my attention on the picture itself. Um, but, you know, if I'm asked to figure out what X is, then it's simply going to be 180 minus 26, which is 154 degrees. So let's, let me just erase all of this. So X must equal 154 in order for these two angles to be supplementary. So the question says in the figure shown, line M is parallel to line N. What is the value of X? I've already explained how we got there. And choice D is the correct answer.